Now that we have learned some fundamentals, let's take a look at AC servos in actual operation. We will be using the Mitsubishi Electric Mel Servo J4 Type A servo amplifier for this training. For the controller, we will be using the Mitsubishi Electric Programmable Controller IQR series. For the display screen, we will be using the GT2708. We will also use a ball screw as the mechanical system. You can also follow along with this training exercise using a Mitsubishi Electric Programmable Controller IQF series Q series, L series, or F series. Just use the positioning module listed in the text. Many devices used in a plant already contain data, and so the device you are using for this training may already contain data. So first, let's retrieve and back up this data. By making backups, we can restore equipment to its previous state in the event of some error or failure. Connect a USB cable between the AC servo and a PC. Turn on the power to the AC servo. Start MR Configurator 2 on your PC. A dialog box appears with the message, Do you want to create a project by reading the parameters from the servo amplifier? Please proceed to retrieve the data. Click Yes. Set a name for the project and then save the file. After making the backup, clear the data in the device. The device is now ready for you to start the training exercise. If your device does not contain any data, simply proceed with the setting exercise. Now let's set the device in a predetermined order. First, start MR Configurator 2 on your PC. The version of the software used in this training is 1.60N. From Project, click New Project. Select MRJ4A RJ in the Model menu. Select Standard in the Operation Mode menu. Select Servo Amplifier Connection USB under Connection Setting. Click OK. From Parameter, click Parameter Setting. Click Basic. From the Control Mode pull-down menu, select Position Control Mode. Next, select Rotation Direction. CW refers to clockwise, and CCW refers to counterclockwise, regarding the direction of rotation. Select CCW direction during forward pulse input, CW direction during reverse pulse input. Then select Extension 2. From the Forced Stop Deceleration Function Selection menu, select 
Forced stop deceleration function is enabled. Use EM2. Next, click Digital Input Output. Click the Input Signal Auto On Selection button under Device Setting. Enable SON. SON is read as Servo On. The Servo On signal enables the main circuit. This signal must be turned on before operation. Servo lock is enabled when this signal is turned on. After you have completed setting parameters, they must be written into the servo. Once the dialog box appears, click Yes. When the next dialog box appears, click Yes. Once writing has been completed, a dialog box appears indicating that the power to the servo amplifier needs to be turned off and on again. Click OK. To reflect any changes made to the servo amplifier setting, turn the power to the servo amplifier off and on again after writing. This completes the process to set the servo in preparation for actual operation. Let's now proceed and actually see the servo motor in action.